Hello friends, in this video we will continue the sketch modeling tools and we will know how to draw polygons and ellipse. So we can find the polygons by clicking on this little arrow. Here we can find polygon and ellipse. So we will start with the polygon. I click on this polygon. So the first option we can find is to select a center point. The second option is the number of sides. In a polygon we can have many number of sides. Right now we have taken the number of sides at 6. So it will be a hexagon and then we have to select the size. For the size we have three references. I click on this arrow. The first is inscribed radius then circumscribed and third is a side length. So we will learn about them one by one. First option I can take is the inscribed. Click on this. For this we have two parameter radius and rotation. So now I will select a center point for this polygon. Click in somewhere. Suppose I select this origin as a center point. Click here. And then we have to define the size. The size we can define it's by radius. Suppose I insert this value 50. Press tab. Rotation angle I take 0 degree and press enter. And close. Now we can see in the inscribed type of polygon. The parameter we define radius is the distance between the center and the distance of this vertical line. The second type of hexagon is the circumscribed. I select once again polygon, number of sides at 6 and this time I select circumscribed and then go to this display. Suppose I select this as a center point and radius once again I take 50, rotation is 0 and press enter and close. Now here we can see the parameter we define as radius is the distance between the center and the corner point of this hexagon. So that is the difference between these two type of hexagon. The third type of hexagon is a side length. So once again I select this polygon and this time I select side length. And this time this length of the line will be as a parameter. So once again I select the center point. And then I select side length as 50, press tab, rotation is 0 degree and press enter and close. So now we can differentiate all these three different type of polygons. Next type of profile we have is the ellipse. As we know ellipse is a special form of a circle in which we have two radius value. One is major axis and the second is the minor axis. So I go to the ellipse tool, select this ellipse. The first option is to specify the center point and then we can see major radius and minor radius. Major radius will be larger of course we can see and minor radius will be of lesser value. But we can also interchange them if we want. So I go to this display and I select a center point. Click in center point and now major radius we can define is 50. So I insert this value 50 press enter and then the minor value. So I go to this minor value. This value is 25. It is good. And then we can define the value of rotation. So I take it as a 0 and click OK. And I zoom in on this and we can see an ellipse is created. So this horizontal length is the major radius and this vertical length is the minor radius. So this way we can draw polygons and ellipse.